This was the first try. And my name is Alex from December Boys and today I'm gonna teach you two cool card flourishes. Two cool flourishes with a ring. Let's do this. So we're going to teach you two variations, the classic ring roll and the knuckle roll. And the knuckle roll was published for the first time uh, by Antoine Thomas, a good friend of ours, and it is taught here for free with his direct permission. And uh, he has a lot of stuff on ring magic and ring tricks, and uh, we encourage you to check out his DVDs, the link will be in the description below. So now let's learn these flourishes. Alright guys, so first things first, you need to find a certain ring for this trick and uh, usually it is a band type ring and it looks like this. You start with uh, pinching or clipping the ring like that with your index and thumb. You curl in your index finger and uh, kind of extend your thumb like that. You can see that the ring revolves. So this is the first stage, it's essential it, because it will be repeated every time on each finger and you need to get it down this motion and you need to be comfortable with this motion first and foremost. Uh, you need to now engage your middle finger and uh, pinch or clip the ring from this side. Your index finger, which has been holding the ring from this edge, will now regrip, pinching the ring um, with uh, the help of the uh, middle finger and you kind of repeat the same action over and over again. So from the thumb to index finger, from index finger to middle finger and then obviously the same action is with uh, your middle finger and your ring finger and your ring finger passes the ring to your pinky. So this is kind of a naki move and uh, there's really no other way, no cheat code to learn it other than practice and uh, what I can advise when you start off with this flourish if you feel like the ring isn't securely gripped between your fingers, for instance in this stage, you may help with your thumb. But uh, eventually you would want to do this only with uh, the tips of your fingers. Or what you do when you completed the first roll, you can do it backwards, it's pretty much the same, just reversed action. So this is the classic ring roll. So use pretty much the same principle for the knuckle roll, but this time the ring will um, revolve around your knuckles, obviously. You pinch the ring much higher than you would do in a usual classic ring roll. So what you do is pretty much the same. You curl in your index finger and uh, let go with your thumb a little bit and allow the ring to rotate and uh, land onto your knuckle of your index finger. So when you do this, you engage your middle finger and clip it uh, in the area of your knuckle one more time. So when you clip it, you can let go with the thumb and continue this action one more time. Uh, also a tip for this one, you don't want to extend your knuckles, you want to keep them a little bit closer, like you're holding a tennis ball for instance. And uh, continue with this motion and do pretty much the same, just pass the ring to another uh, finger, like uh, extend your middle finger in this situation and curl in your ring finger, pass the ring, and now you are clipping it with your ring finger and your pinky, and you can go and now reverse action one more time backwards, just like this. 
So this is a fun uh, variation of this um, roll, ring roll, because you can do it pretty much uh, in any direction, upside down, and uh, the ring doesn't really, this manipulation, this flourish doesn't really rely on gravity. So you can do it pretty much like this. And uh, once you get it down, you can feel pretty much comfortable doing it in any direction. As for me, I'm comfortable doing it, it uh, like this sideways. So it's really nice flourish and uh, it just takes some practice eventually to master it. And uh, yeah, just follow the instructions and uh, hopefully you'll get it down. So this was the knuckle roll. <laughs>